Hi, thank you for your interest in my 2004 Dodge Sprinter van that could be potentially yours. We're gonna go on a little tour. I'm gonna answer some questions that I get asked frequently, and I'm gonna show you a couple things that make it a unique and livable van. As you enter the van, the first thing you'll notice is the wood stove. It's a cubic mini wood stove. It's very efficient with heating up the whole space. The van is very well insulated. It's been really nice and cozy to have fires. Down below, we have some storage space for any miscellaneous things. Next to that space, we have this big opening that can be used for firewood or anything wood stove related. What I have used it in the past was for a fridge. A nature's head composting toilet can be installed there as well. We have lots of drawers and then we have a few over here as well as the overhead space up here. The counters here are special. They are Diodora cedar wood slabs. They really set the tone for how I wanted to design the van. I knew I wanted to do the booth style instead of a fixed bed, which I know that has its own benefits, but it was really nice to be gifted these two slabs of wood that are very special and I spent a lot of time finishing them and prepping them. They're nice, I really love them. The deep sink, that was a must have. You can do shower head or you can do, you know, full on. And it's nice to have a faucet that swivels out so that you can also utilize water outside. Down here we have three six gallon water jugs. So it holds plenty of water. We also have a gray tank down there. We got a nice little side table here that you flip up for some extra counter space and you can utilize this while you're cooking, or you can make some smoothies on your Vitamix, pop out a little sandwich board and sell some smoothies to the public. <laughs> the hinges are very sturdy. They're meant to hold a lot of weight. So you could even have a nice little sit down, drink your coffee, have some breakfast, enjoy the scenery. We have a fantastic fan up here, which is really nice. It blows air in or out. It is also temperature controlled. I would turn it on right now to show, but when you have the wood stove going, it will just pull in smoke or blow out smoke. So the two aren't advised to use together unless you want a very smoky van. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so back here, we have a lot of upper storage space as well as storage down below under the bench seats on both sides. Over on this side is all of the electrical components. So you have the two deep cycle batteries. You have a battery charger and you have all the fuses that bring electricity to the lights. You have your inverter and the battery computer where it tells you all of the information about what's going on with the solar. The electrical system was a big component to this entire build out because I wanted to be able to use my Vitamix every day without any kind of worry about power or electricity. As far as any power goes, you have plenty to run a Vitamix. Uh, you can run a hairdryer if you need to. You'll always have power coming to the two deep cycle batteries as long as the sun is shining or as long as the van is running because there is a battery isolator that's installed. So anytime the van is on or it's running, it is charging the two batteries as well as you can charge it through shore power. So you can plug the van into any out side outlet. You can sit and use this lagoon table. It's really nice. It's on a swivel. You can use it all around in this space back here. It's very easy to swivel. It's also very easy to pop off, take off the leg here, and then go into bed mode. The vehicle itself, the gas mileage, 17 to 19 miles to the gallon in town and a little bit more on the highway, about like 22 to 24, which has been pretty good. It does run on diesel. It does not have hot water, but there is space 
underneath to install a hot water heater. There are also some window covers. They are insulated, so it's nice. You can pop them into each window. We have a curtain here that makes the space feel more cozy. It makes it feel like it's a little bit more private and it blocks off from the cab. So it does make it feel like a little tiny home. Another really cool feature about the chairs are they both are on swivel mounts, so you can swivel both. If you wanna see it in person or you have any further questions, feel free to reach out and I'm happy to connect with you, give you a tour, explain things further. Thank you for watching and hope to hear from you soon.